So let me start with uh, uh, Cristina Stefanelli. She's going to introduce to you the Avatar project, and then we'll jump directly uh, to uh, Daniela Di Marco, who will introduce uh, the uh, START project. Both projects are dealing with teaching in a virtual world, and I think it's very nice to see how we st got started in, in uh, researching this uh, fascinating uh, uh, tool and uh, how uh, it can be applied in learning. So, Cristina. Grazie, Francesca. Um, the title of this presentation today is Learning and uh, Virtual World. We will go through uh, three European projects, the Avatar project, the START project, and uh, the University project that will be launched in, uh, in December this year. Um, I will give some uh, definition about uh, what virtual worlds are and uh, the meaning of uh, virtual learning and the benefits I'm pretty aware that many of you uh, are already uh, confident, very confident vi with uh, virtual worlds. In any case, um, a definition of virtual world is uh, that a virtual, a, three, a virtual world is a 3D uh, virtual environment where users can interact, use and create objects. Uh, they do that through their avatars. Uh, an avatar is uh, the graphic representation of, of a user in the virtual world. Uh, and avatars use uh, communication media uh, through text, graphical icons, um, gesture, and sound. Um, well, through our research, um, we pointed out that um, the main benefits of virtual worlds is uh, to have the opportunity is that o virtual worlds overcomes uh, the limitation of uh, traditional classroom settings. Uh, virtual world is a real world simulation, simulation, and uh, it uh, it allow role playing. Uh, it it is uh, ideal for uh, collaborative learning, role playing, serious games, and of course learning by doing. And most of all, it's engaging. Um, students, at least the students that took part in our project, find virtual world more attractive. And through this uh, engagement of students, the, the learning process may be uh, more effective. Uh, the Avatar project is um, a project founded by the European Commission uh, under the Lifelong Learning Program Comenius. Um, and it will end in uh, November this year, so we are really uh, presenting today the final results of the project. The aim of the project was and is to teach secondary school teachers to use virtual words in education through an online pilot course and virtual laboratories. Um, the project has been done through a consortium of partners. Forcom is the coordinator, and then we have uh, other five universities and uh, uh, Sophia in Action Consulting, which is uh, a, a consulting company in Italy. Uh, FH Joanneum is a university in Austria, uh, UNED, uh, l'Universidad Nacional de Educación a Distanza in Spain, the University of Southern Denmark, and Burgas Free University, and Janislav and Maria are also here to represent the university, and they are partner of the Talita project, so I'm pretty sure that they will bring the results uh, of the Avatar project into uh, this new one, and uh, the University of Erfordshire from uh, UK. Uh, we also uh, co cross-cooperated with other European projects dealing with virtual worlds. Uh, I just put some slides here so you you can, you can see that there are many uh, universities and institutions that are trying to, um, to, to work in virtual, in virtual worlds, um, dealing with different aspects, the START project that will be shown today. The others are mainly uh, dealing with the use of virtual worlds for uh, teaching, for, for language teaching. And another interesting project that 
uh, you may go through is move an action. Uh, they analyze the use of virtual words to solve problems in the classroom. So uh, the teacher has to identify, first of all, which is the problem in his uh, or her teaching, and then uh, find or try to find the solution in, uh, in a virtual world. These are other uh, European founded projects. We have worked with them uh, as guest speaker or sharing uh, lessons and results from, from our projects. Uh, I will show you a three minutes video. Avatar stands for Added Value of Teaching in a Virtual World. It's a European co-funded project under the Lifelong Learning Comenius program. The Avatar project conducted desk research and interviews with experts on virtual learning, best practices and a comparative analysis on existing virtual worlds in which the quality of the available teaching and learning facilities was scrutinized. Subsequently, the Avatar project designed and produced a course for secondary school teachers on teaching and learning in virtual worlds, delivered through an e-platform for the content, discussion board and administration, and on a v-platform built on Second Life for the practical exercises. The hub is the point of entry into the Avatar estate. It's intended to offer information about the Avatar project, partners, destinations and short user guides. The resource center offers textures, scripts, object accessories and teaching aids for teachers and students to collect free of charge. The auditorium holds up to 100 users simultaneously and is used for presentations, seminars and conferences. The Sandbox is a location where teachers and students can place and create objects, discuss their experiences and do their project works. The Dissemination Path provides teachers and classes with campsites for presenting and sharing their activities in world. More than 120 secondary school teachers from Austria, Bulgaria, Denmark, Italy, Spain and the UK piloted the Avatar course from January to May 2011. The course was divided into two main parts. The first referred to theoretical and practical knowledge, such as how to navigate around and communicate with other avatars, how to develop contents, and how to create educational pathways. During the course, guided tours, lessons and seminars by invited speakers were carried out in real time in Second Life. The second part involved teachers realizing their learning scenarios and experimenting their project work with small groups of their students in many different disciplines. English and French as a foreign language, mathematics, history, chemistry and ecology, science, astrophysics, philosophy, literature, law and economics. A virtual world can add value to your real-life teaching. It overcomes physical limits. It's a real-world simulation and allows role-playing. It adds a practical dimension to teaching and learning activities. It promotes collaborative working environment. It creates an emotional and social impact. And it's up to your creativity. If you are interested in setting up similar activities, come and see the added value of teaching in a virtual world. Visit the Avatar website at www.avatarproject.eu and our Avatar Island in Second Life. Italian moderator of the Avatar course, together 
with Gianni Panconesi and Maria Guida. And um, what we have seen is many of the teachers uh, were really engaged in working with uh, virtual words. Well, I have to say that uh, we had a 35% of dropout in the course um, in the first two weeks. So my impression was that some teachers logged in in the platform and then they realized that they didn't work in with words, that it was immersive. <laughs> and the others um, were not just following or attending to a course, but they were really engaged. They, want, they create a, a community and they are still working uh, together. I have uh, done some slides with some evidences. Uh, Jens is a teacher um, in English from Denmark. Uh, he has done a great project work putting together many other teachers from, from other countries, uh, doing a, a kind of a role playing uh, for um, language teaching. Uh, he believes that virtual words add an international dimension to language teaching. Uh, Claudia is another teacher from Italy. Uh, she teach Italian literature in, uh, in Italy and she believes that competencies acquired with uh, the avatar experience may be transferred to many different contexts. She actually has done a project work about business and her students um, applied for another com for another um, for another project with other teachers using the competencies that they are that they acquired uh, through the avatar course uh, Yanka is a teacher from uh, from Burgas and she has done a project work in physics and astronomic right <laughs> and she believes that students can learn through exploration building and collaboration they can travel through uh, time and space. Uh, there is another teacher, Suzanne, and Suzanne teach uh, mathematics in Austria. She is now living in Istanbul, uh, but during the period of, of the Avatar course, she was teaching in, uh, in Graz. Uh, she has done a project work in mathematics, and she believes that there are many useful resources to use and reuse in words and to create learning scenarios. Um, Suzanne actually has done a project work about uh, mathematics uh, involving approximately 10 students from her, from her class. Uh, this is a screenshot of, of her project work in Word. It was divided into four mains, um, into eight modules. Uh, the first two modules um, were introductory, so how to use uh, the virtual world, how to get fun from it and how to explore the resources available and how to um, report back of, on what you have done online. And the, the module number three was about uh, teach to her students how to build objects in uh, Second Life. And then the other were, were more into the content of her, um, of, of her domain. Uh, the aim was to build the parabola I have written uh, it because I'm not really confident with the topic, but the aim was mm, two different aim. One was to find out the coordinates uh, of the virtual world and how to build a parabola and uh, from a given value and then to find properties. Probably Marie, uh, Marinou, you know better this project work because it's your field. Uh, and this is another picture, another screenshot from her project work. So. This is just to give you um, a general overview on how many things you can do when you know how to use virtual words in a, in a pedagogically rich uh, content. And this is a picture of all uh, the participants of the Avatar course. I leave the floor to uh, this start project. Thank you. Is it uh, possible? Is uh, it's possible to to teach also art in uh, 3D virtual world? And an example is Start Project. 
because the um, START project aims to uh, support the teaching of uh, the um, art teacher, but also English teacher. Uh, in, uh, in order to include ICT tools in their lesson plan. Um, the, the START project, the, the, the technological partner for the 3D virtual world is Raisable, and Raisable is uh, the, uh, the same, um, is the partner of Talete project. So uh, there will be, uh, uh, um, Raisable will, uh, um, present you uh, the 3D virtual environment in a, in a few minutes. Uh, but I want to show you that it's possible to teach many subjects, educational subjects, in 3D virtual world. The real thing, real thing is very important is that the teachers have to be familiar with these ICT tools. So when they are familiar with them, uh, they can apply them in their lesson plan. Um, if you, I want to show you, uh, in, it's possible to use also for you uh, in the next month, see and um, deliver what start partnership develop in these two years. So I need to go to internet. The start project is uh, finishing, but uh, we, but for the user it's possible to access to our platforms uh, in order to use our educational materia uh, start um, the street art in um, and also uh, with the theoretical part and with the practical part you can go on our website startproject.eu We offer two platforms, uh, e learn platform in order you can uh, listen to our audio lesson uh, on the street art, uh, on the entrepreneurship, uh, on the digital tools. And for access to this platform, you can click on this banner, you can register on our page, and then you can uh, receive the ICD uh, ID and password, and you can go uh, in our educational platform. Then you can go also, you can see and use our uh, 3D environment, click on this banner, and you can go in uh, uh, in uh, um, Metropolis, our city. Um, we developed, but for uh, this, the access to this uh, page and 3D environment, there will be a reasonable that will show you the 3D virtual world. And then uh, in our um, website, you uh, we developed some uh, videos in order to support the teacher, art teacher, but also English teacher, uh, in order to support them to access in uh, Metropolis, in order to um, see what we did and uh, to, to joke with their pupils. Uh, applying uh, and study also the international street art famous of this Staff period as Bansky or Shepard Ferry. Where students can explore, collaborate and create works of art with other students from around the globe. 
This is, uh, there are five uh, videos as a user guide in order to support the teachers step by step. Vandalism, entrepreneurship and art making strategies. So, in our experience, we can point out that the teacher have needs much time in order to use ICT tools and their functionalities. But the young people uh, 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 can uh, apply the very um, different uh, um, educational um, functionalities in a few time. Um, ICT has become an important driver for everyday life and for the pupils, ICT tools, uh, devices, are has uh, the third hands. Um, it's important that the teacher can use ICT tools in order to um, use the same language of the pupils, sometimes also for motivate them in order to study. I, oh yeah. As you, as you can see, um, there are many, uh, many people around that are working in virtual worlds and that are trying to benefit from them. Uh, in order to keep alive all the community uh, around all this European project, we applied for um, another European project um, <coughs> called University. Uh, the project has been approved and will be launched in December this year. It is under the Lifelong Learning Program Key Activity 3 ICT Networks. Uh, it's a three-year project uh, with 19 partners. The coordinator is the University of Al and in UK, in the Yorkshire, I think. And um, the aim is not only to put together all the European projects and the experts dealing with virtual worlds, but also uh, to start creating a pan-European university in world. Uh, there is already a link running, so if you want to join the network, you are more than welcome. Uh, this is <coughs> the address of uh, the online community. And, uh, I really hope to see you there if you want to, to go ahead studying uh, virtual worlds. Uh, these are the addresses of the, web, uh, the websites of, of the projects, and I thank you for your attention. Thank you, thank you to Christina and Daniela. And uh, <coughs> let me give a short summary uh, in Italian of their speech. Uh, Cristina e, e Daniela sono due colleghe del, dell'area dei progetti internazionali e hanno presentato prima il progetto Avatar che è stato condotto dal Forcom che è un consorzio di cui l'università fa parte e che mirava a eh, insegnare ai docenti delle scuole superiori come utilizzare i mondi virtuali nella loro attività di insegnamento eh, il progetto si è appena concluso direi con notevole successo, eh, tutti i docenti coinvolti sono rimasti entusiasti della possibilità e penso che possiate poi chiedere ulteriori informazioni non solo a Cristina che ne è stata la project manager ma a Gianni Panconesi e a Maria Guida che sono qui con noi che sono stati i tutor che hanno seguito e motivato i docenti italiani che hanno partecipato alla sperimentazione. Daniela invece ha presentato START, un progetto dell'università in cui utilizziamo la, eh, il mondo virtuale questa volta per insegnare arte, in particolare la street art e la differenza tra fare street art e fare vandalismo. Eh, anche qui l'esperienza condotta è stata entusiasmante e eh, il coinvolgimento è stato veramente notevole non solo per gli studenti per i quali questi strumenti sono forse più abituali ma sicuramente molto anche per 
i docenti che hanno dovuto in qualche maniera imparare a muoversi su mondi che non sono certo quelli che utilizzano normalmente, ma che amplificano notevolmente le loro capacità di insegnare. E infine Cristina ci ha detto due parole su Euroversity che vi invito ad andare a visitare, che è un po' il nostro eh, futuro lavoro in questo settore, perché è un network che porta insieme l'esperienza di tanti progetti ai quali eh, contiamo che contribuirà anche Talete nell'insegnamento utilizzando monti virtuali e nel proporsi come punto di aggregazione su questo argomento a livello europeo.